Hey, Dad. So... Huh? So you've made, um... So you put the, um... Thing... Put the uh, hatches in here. Mm -hmm. And you've laminated over them. Yeah. And so now that's making a lip to stop it from falling through. Yeah. Nice. Huh? That's pretty cool. Uh, only problem. Huh? Only problem that's probably gonna cut your hand or give you splinters when you're sticking your hand through this. Bunch up the build. So. Shouldn't? Like two your little bit. Yeah, perfect knife. No. Three kilos. Well, what does that equal? That equals the original half floor in here. So that went from the bulkhead at the door here to just where my toolboxes are. So now I'm going to weigh the new floor that I just made and compare it to this. So what was the old floor made out of? Well, plywood probably Maranti plywood so it was probably old growth rainforest plywood uh, it had a bit of a vinyl top type thing on it too which is not lightweight but to make it stiff enough there's all this plywood bracing in and around the hatch hole so 15.23 kilos so can you guys take a stab in the dark to how heavy the new hole floor is. Let's see if it's any lighter than this half floor. You want me to take one in? Yeah. 
Ooh, is it gonna fit over you? Yeah, it comes out of there. leaky boat. There's water from our leaky boat. Somebody needs to sponsor us some hatches. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit lighter, eh? I don't know what was it I can't see from. 7.84 kilos. Oh, happy man. And that's but the whole floor, not a half a floor. Mm. Yeah, it's hatches you made way more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hatches. Well, the, the hatches are sub one kilo. Okay, so if that was half a floor was 15 kilos, so we, we could round it up and say 30 kilos for the timber floor? For a full timber floor at the back end here, yeah. And now it's about eight kilos. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a win. That's a, that's a big that's, win. That's a big win. So if we and can, this will be stronger than what that was. And it will be structural because it will yeah. be laminated in now, whereas the other exactly. ply one were just sitting there. They weren't even laminated. Yeah, it was sat, sat there with a few screws in it. So the fact that we can laminate it into place now makes it part of the boat and makes the hull stronger. Yeah. Yay! We could do with some good news because it's been a bit of a, a shitty process, hasn't it, Shane? It's not been easy. And Aiden's busy up here, so Aiden's okay. cleaning up the hatches. So this is now Pikea's saloon area. It has been taken over with our laminating table because it's raining outside, and Aiden is cleaning up the hatches. Having fun? No. Cool. So these are less than a kilo each, which was more than Shane was hoping. Uh, okay. One, and he just said one's a kilo and one is just under. Very, very proud. The ki one kilo one was 600 gram skins, top and bottom? No, 1200 gram. 1200 gram. Ah, so. Big stuff. And then this one, you did 1200 gram on the top and the bottom was lighter. Was that? Yeah, that was a 400 dB and a 300 um, cloth. Okay, so 700 in total. On the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah. Which is still plenty. Yeah, but I also did little things, changes as well. So this is the first heavy one. I did the overlap on the bottom face. Um, which is a little bit heavier because the overlap, well, is, is um, quite large. This one, I did the overlap on this edge. Yeah, yeah, you so can't see more, it at all, can you? A lot more controlled. Oh, well, by the time you get to the last hatch, it'll be schmick process, eh? I'll have it sorted. Mm -hmm. I just want to try to get you in the mood. I just want to hit your spot
Pikea smell a bit more like polyester resin and we're going to laminate in the floor and I'm going to put it on time lapse. painting under here now so we can run these cables and stuff and then we can start putting the face plate and stuff on mm -hmm. 